Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can use Terraform and GitLab. How do you apply changes in Terraform? In most cases you run Terraform plan and then Terraform apply and type yes. This approach works great on your local machine but how to apply changes and only the changes you want in GitLab job where you do not have access to shell. How to do that when you cannot approve the output of apply comment. You can use Terraform apply auto approve, but it might be risky. No one likes to destroy something on production without a priori knowledge. So can we run Terraform plan, check the output and then run Terraform apply in another step? We can, but still it might be risk operation. Why? Because plan and apply are separated operations. They know nothing about each other. So apply can change something which was not showed in plan. But according to Terraform documentation, the optional out argument can be used to save the generated plan to a file for later execution with Terraform apply, which can be useful when running Terraform in automation. This way we can run Terraform plan with out parameter and then use this file in Terraform apply command. Therefore, we know that only changes from plan command will be applied, if there were any, of course. So, let's say that we have two environments, dev and prod. We want to run terraform plan command, and if everything is alright, we want to run terraform apply, and it should apply changes from the plan only. We need to save a file from plan command and use it later in apply. For this, we can use artifacts keyword. We will also use some other keywords. We keep our Terraform logic in dev and prod catalogs. We have two stages, plan and apply. Common job. Uh, this is a hidden job, which will be used later by extends keyword. We provide Terraform image, obviously, and entry point for this image. By default entry point is set to terraform command, so without changing entry point we couldn't run some commands like cd for, for example. The job will be manual and we also have before script section. We want to go to dev or prod catalog and run terraform init command. Plan job, another hidden job which will be used later. Here we inherit from common job using extends keyword. We set stage to plan and run terraform plan command with param out. This way we tell terraform to save the plan to a specific file env name uh, dot plan. This environment variable and env name uh, we will provide in another jobs. Additionally, we set artifacts section. With this, we can easily save whatever we want and use it later in other jobs. So here we want to keep the generated plan. Apply job. Here we also inherit from common job, but stage is set to apply. And the command in script section is terraform apply input equals to false and name dot plan. We will use this job and plan soon. So we have a backbone. Now we are going to add the rest of stuff. We have two environments, dev and prod. For each of the environment we have three jobs, but one of them is hidden. So in a pipeline, you will see only uh, two jobs for environment, dev plan, dev apply, and for prod, prod plan and prod apply. In dot dev job, we only set an environment uh, variable and name to dev. We do something similar for prod environment. We set env name to prod. In dev plan job, we only inherit from the previous ones, plan and the dev. So we get the whole logic from dot plan job and from 
dot dev and in dev apply job uh, this job is uh, is similar to dev plan job but we inherit from dot apply instead of dot plan additionally we use dependencies keyword telling GitLab that we want artifacts only from dev plan job and for prod the these jobs are very similar here's a logic for terraform we just want to create a file with some content and that's it it's only for the purpose of like, of the video and here's the pipeline we can try to run dev apply job it should fail because we haven't generated the file and yeah and you can see that there's a problem because no such file or directory so firstly we have to generate the plan here we see the output of the plan and the the file has been saved so now we can use this guy in dev apply job so we, now we can go here and retry the job And now everything should work. And here we see that Terraform has found the file and the plan has been applied. And that's it. If you like the video, please subscribe my channel. And thank you for watching. In the description, you'll find a link to the repository so you can check the code.